Today we're looking at surds. Now you should be familiar with these already. Um, the main thing I'm going to say is, like in algebra, you do this because they follow very much the same rules as we use with x's and y's, but they are numbers and they're obviously not variables. Surds are irrational numbers. That means they cannot be shown as an integer fraction and are written as roots. Let's go through these surds questions. To simplify this surd, we're going to first write the factor pairs of 54. So we've got 1 and 54, 2 and 27, 3 and 18, and 6 and 9. Next, we select the factor pair with the highest square number. The highest square number here is 9, so the factor pair will be 6 and 9. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write the 6 and the 9 as surds or as square roots, but put the square number first. So it's going to be square root of 9 times square root of 6. The square root of 9 is 3, so it's going to be 3 times square root of 6, but with thirds we don't need to put the time sign. So the answer is just going to be 3 root 6. In this question we need to simplify each of the thirds. So here we know that 72 is 36 times 2, 50 is 25 times 2, and 98 is 49 times 2. And root 36 is going to be 6, root 25 is 5, and root 49 is 7. Now, thirds are very similar to algebra in the sense that you can collect like terms or collect like thirds, similar to what we do with x's, we can do with thirds. So you imagine if it was 6x minus 5x plus 7x, you would know that the answer would be 8x. Here, it's going to be 8 root 2 because it's 6 lots of root 2 take away 5 lots of root 2 so that leaves 1 lot of root 2 plus 7 lots of root 2 which will give us the 8 root 2. With this question we can use the same rules we use to expand algebraic quadratics to help us. So we're going to multiply everything in the second bracket by everything in the first bracket. But if you look at the last um, term we've got root 7 times root 7 now root 7 times root 7 is going to be root 49. Square root of 49 is just 7. So we learn here that any time you have a third times by itself, you just get rid of the square root. Now we've got our like terms here. We've got plus 2 root 7 minus 5 root 7. So that will give us minus 3 root 7. And then we've got the 10 take away the 7, which will give us 3. And you can't simplify this any further. Let's uh, finish this topic on this question. How did mathematicians work with thirds before calculators were invented? Now, I've always been alive for calculators, so I've never had to do this, but the person who taught me how to teach was around before calculators, and they used uh, quite difficult methods <laughs> to do it. Um, and actually, a lot of um, what we do with thirds is based around the methods that they had to use back in the day. If you know what those methods were, write it in the description below. And you can come and join us at onmaths.com or click on the link in the description. You can access all our A-level papers and A-level predictions for free, and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger A-level course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.